Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the what's in my backpack video. Um, I haven't done any back to school videos yet and I'm so ashamed because I've been in school for almost a month already and I haven't done any back to school videos, but I do have some planned. I'm going to start pre-recording videos and then uploading them during the week because um, I just don't have enough time during the week to really film as much as I would like to. So I apologize for lack of videos. I've just been really, really busy. But I am sick as well. If you guys can't tell, my throat is killing me. Um, but I really wanted to pre-record some videos this week so I can have some new back-to-school videos up on my channel for you guys this week. So without further ado, let's get into my backpack. <laughs> okay, so this is my backpack. It is a Wild Fox backpack. And I got it at Tilly's last year yeah and it's been a really great backpack um it's really sturdy the straps are nice and thick and they you know can withstand basically anything um now i should warn you guys i only have three classes this year as a senior in high school um i mentioned in my like after school night routine that i get home at one o'clock every day and that's why is because i only have three classes but last year with a full six classes and like six binders, this thing could hold anything. Um, so it's got pockets on the side, which I usually keep my phone in like one of these pockets, but obviously my phone's right here. Um, so yeah, and then I will go into this pocket first. So in this pocket, I have my glasses case, but my glasses are here on my desk because I don't even have contacts in today. So I've been um, using my glasses today. I have Germex. This is great to have, especially um, just basically anywhere to have hand sanitizer is good, um, but especially school because it's kind of a dirty place if you think about it. So I got this at the travel section in Walmart and this was like 98 cents. And um, I also got, where you go, this in the travel section at Walmart. It's a little mini deodorant. Um, I'm not afraid to admit that I'm one of those girls that needs to like reapply deodorant during the day. I don't take PE classes or anything. I just sweat. I, you know, everybody sweats. Um, so yeah, I got this in the travel section. I think this was like 98 cents as well. Um, the travel section is great, especially for back to school stuff. So if you guys want to go and pick up some stuff, go there because it's awesome. And then the last thing I picked up from the travel section in Walmart is this little like compact mirror. It's actually a mirror on one side and then it has a pop-up brush. I'm doing this like with one hand guys, so I'm a fail. Um, yeah, it's a little pop-up brush on the other side. So this is great because my hair can get pretty crazy during the day. And then I also have a mirror and it's cute. So again, only 98 cents. All right, so gum. I've gone through like three packs of gum in the last three weeks because if you pull out gum, everybody's going to be your best friend. Um, I know not all teachers allow gums, but gums. I know all teachers don't allow chewing gum, but all three of my teachers do. They're pretty awesome. So yeah, I always have to carry gum. Um, if you wear glasses like me, I recommend carrying glass cleaner and then the little like, what is this, wipe? thing um because like wiping your glasses with tissue or paper towel or anything can scratch your glasses so I carry mine around wherever I go actually, I actually have two of these I have one for my purse which it's up there you guys my new Hello Kitty purse and um one for my backpack and then the glass cleaner that comes with my glasses I carry that in my backpack and in my purse as well okay so I also have this pink chiffon lotion from Bath and Body Works um I think before school started, I think they were like three for ten dollars. So I picked up a couple of these for my backpack and my purse. And um, I think I gave one to my grandma too. But this smells so good. I had so many compliments on this in the first week of school. Like I would apply it and people would be like, what does that smell? It smells so good. So it's pink chiffon if you guys are wondering. So I would recommend this because it smells delicious. I have my wallet. Um, just a basic small wallet. I don't really like carrying big wallets because I just don't have enough room for them. But I do have my ID in here. 
I also keep my credit card in here just in case like after school I go to like Sonic or something with my friends. I also have my credit card just in case. And I also carry cash and my student ID. I have two of them in here I think. I think I have my junior year and my senior year. Um, but I'm not going to show you those because they say my name and my school name. So not going to show you that but I do carry that kind of stuff. And then I also carry my keys. I have a lot of keys. <laughs> I have keys to my house, mailbox, cars, basically anything I need. Um, just in case like I get a ride home from my friend and I need to be able to get into the house. That's what these are for. And that brings us to the end of that pocket in the backpack. Um, okay, so starting with the bigger pocket, I have a planner. But our school supplies us with planners, and so it says my school name on it, so I can't really show that to you. But any kind of planner will do. Basically anything that tells you the days and the month will work. Um, it's really good to have, in my opinion, because I lose track of so many assignments. And so I really do get a lot of use out of my planner during the year. Okay, next is a notebook. Um, I had to have a notebook for English. Um, because we do like daily journals where she just puts a prompt up on the board and like in the first five minutes of class you get to write in your journal. This is actually like a three subject, um, notebook. It actually has like dividers in it. So you could use it for three different classes, but the only class that requires me to have one is English. So I just got this one because it's nice and big and it has lots of paper in it. I forgot to mention, all the school supplies that I have, I got at Walmart, so if you guys are looking for good school supplies, go to Walmart. Um, next is my binder, <laughs> and I've had the worst luck with binders, for real guys. Um, I just could never keep a binder for more than a year, otherwise it was like just bad, bad, bad. Um, it would break and bend. So this year I finally got the most durable, durable binder I could find. And this is what it looks like. So in the front pocket here I have a Hello Kitty thing because I'm like obsessed with Hello Kitty. And I have a picture of me in a Cocker Spaniel. It's not my puppy, it's um, her half sister. Um, but yeah, I love Cocker Spaniels. So, And I also keep the bell schedule here so I know when my grandma has to pick me up on what day and then like how many minutes are in a class period. I'm always the person going, how many minutes do we have in this class left? Like, what time do we get out? I'm hungry. Like, that's just me. So I keep my bell schedule in there. And I'm going to open this up. But I don't want to show you guys too much. So the next thing I have is a pencil case. This was actually 97 cents at Walmart and I really, really liked it because um, it has these like hole punch things in it at the top. If you guys can see, I can't really point it out, but I see it has those three hole punch things so you can slide it into your binder. Um, I find this the most helpful because I only have one binder. I can just grab the binder and the pencils at the same time. Like I don't have to reach back for my pencils. Um, so yeah, I have... I think 20 something mechanical pencils in there and I recommend mechanical pencils because you don't have to get up and sharpen them and I just, I just find them a lot more easier. Um, I have some highlighters and black pens and then as you guys can tell I have note cards in here because my English class is all about vocab um, so we do vocab cards so I find index cards the most helpful thing for me to study so I make vocab cards every week and yeah what I have in there. <laughs> the next things I have in here are my three folders. Yes, they're very colorful. I wanted to make my senior year the most colorful year I've ever had. So I have green, purple, and pink, and I have them all labeled with my classes. Um, I don't ever put like, okay, so I like am in this semester I'm in P of E3, but next semester I will be in British Literature, so I don't put P of E3, because I know next semester it's just going to change, so I just put English, same with math, and then same with history, even though I'm technically like in government history, next semester I will be in economics, so I just put history because it was easier. Um, little tip, keep all your folders in the same schedule that your class is, so I have English first, 
then I'm a TA, and then I have math, and then I have history. So I always keep this in the same order, and I'll show you what the inside looks like if there's not too much. Oh, that's one that's got way too much information in it. That one does too. This one doesn't. So this is what the inside of this folder looks like. It's filled with papers. I've only been in school for three weeks, but look at how much paper I have. Um, so yeah, it's got like two dividers, and then it's actually got a place for index cards right here. And then what's nice about it is it's got this little flap in the corner so you can keep the paper secure. So they're not going to go anywhere. So I really like these. I think these were like $3 at Walmart and I got three of them. So yeah, pretty good deal. And then the last thing I have in my binder is paper. Recommend you guys buy tons of paper at the beginning of the year when it's on sale because I guarantee you're going to go through a ream of paper in like two months. I always need paper. So recommend getting this. It's like 80 something cents at Walmart. So get tons of this and you'll be good to go. So that is actually everything in my backpack. I know you guys are probably going to ask about feminine products. I only carry my feminine products when I'm on that time of the month. And a little tip for you girls. If you guys have a guy teacher and you're having some feminine issues, do not be afraid to just tell them you are having feminine issues. I was always that person who was so afraid to do that, but when a girl's gotta go, she's gotta go. So don't be afraid to tell your teacher, look, I'm having some feminine issues, may I go to the bathroom? Um, Cause you know, you're probably gonna have a guy teacher at least once in your four years of high school. So don't be afraid. And yeah, I carry that only when I'm on that time of the month and I'm not right now, so I don't have anything in there. Um, but yeah, that's everything in my backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope to be making some more back to school videos pretty soon. So keep your eyes out for that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.